And you got started with Linux then. What are your thoughts on the two other operating systems, Windows and um, Mac OS? So I used Windows a little bit when I was in university. I was using it at the labs there where I would have to uh, type like this uh, my uh, assignments. Uh, but I don't have an opinion about Microsoft because I've never used it at home, so I don't really know. About the Mac, it's the laptop I had. I thought it was a very good operating system, um, but I haven't used it recently to be able to have a more informed or a more uh, attentive view of its uh, features. At the time, I had a positive impression. Mm, okay, okay. Like if I were to use it now to give you a concrete example, I would be interested to see, okay, what is the developer experience like? Mm. Like how is it, is it to set up a package manager and get all these Git repos that I need to work and uh, set up all these dependencies and so on and so forth, build Emacs from source, etc. cetera. Mm, okay. Yeah. Linux and Mac is what people that do development use, right? It's one of those two. Some people are forced to use Windows. I don't have too much of experience with Windows, but I used Windows in the past for a long time. I'm actually using Windows at my current job right now. Unfortunately, mm. I don't like the operating system. I feel it too clunky, you know, just to switch apps. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's different. And since, since it's not Unix-based, you know, starting from there, since I spend all of the day in the terminal, we don't have a good start there with with Windows. So it's a little bit more, more difficult. Yeah. But uh, do you uh, prefer, like between Mac and uh, Linux, uh, do you have a preference? I cannot give you an educated <laughs> opinion on Linux because I only use Linux on servers, right? All of my different servers, I run Debian on them. I don't have a GUI there, right? So I just SSH into the servers and I just manage stuff that way. So that is awesome. That works extremely well for me. I love Linux in that way, but I have not installed it on a desktop computer and used it, you know, day to day to see what benefits I would have, what drawbacks. Of course, privacy is a huge benefit and why a lot of people use it. So that that's in my plans. I, I want to install mm -hmm. Linux and um, daily drive it to have a better opinion about it because I cannot say anything about it at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What distribution do you use? What distro, Linux distro? So right now I am on Debian, Debian stable. Uh, on this computer, the desktop, before I switched to Debian, I was on Arch, Arch Linux for about four years. And before that, it was again Debian and Arch. So those are the two distros I have used. And what are your thoughts on Arch or why the move to Debian? I think Arch is an excellent distro. I don't get the people who say Arch breaks all the time. Like, I don't understand how you can break it. I haven't managed to do that. Of course, if you are careless, you can break anything for sure. But I mean, if you do the basic uh, things right, it's rock solid. I really like Arch. The thing, though, is that if you don't have a use case for getting the latest and greatest, you are not really gaining anything from Arch. All you are doing is you are just uh, installing uh, gigabytes upon gigabytes of new updates, which change literally nothing to your workflow. Mm, okay, okay. Whereas on Debian, like to give you an idea of what I need here, I have uh, Emacs, which is my main application, then some peripheral applications like a web browser and the um, image viewer and video player, that sort of thing for which I don't care what version they are. Like I, my video player, I don't care. It just works. Uh, the, video the web browser just works. So unless there is a very good reason to get a newer version of something, I don't need it. And I haven't had such a reason. Mm, makes sense. I have been thinking about that, which distro to use. Everyone tells me Arch. Well, not everyone, but most people tell me to use Arch. Um, but I'm kind of on the same boat as you. I care about stability and I care about just if something works, I just hope hope it to work, you know, for, for a long time. I don't want to be 
updating stuff if I don't need to. So I don't know. Maybe try and out Arch for the experience. But if I'm going to use it as a daily driver, Debian, I'm, I, I like Debian. I don't know. I, I do mm -hmm. like Debian on the servers. I don't know how it is in the desktop. People complain that the packages are quite old. Do you have any issues with that? Well, strictly speaking, that's true. Of course, they are old, but that's uh, not a problem in itself. Like, I use an old Firefox, but I load the page just the same. So what exactly does a new Firefox bring to the table? Of course, if you are really interested in the updates that Mozilla releases every four weeks or whatever, then yes, you need an alternative. But if you just want to open a website, then usually you are good with the old. Uh, packages. I have a question. The only thing that I would care about probably is security updates. Let's say that there's a critical, you know, security mm -hmm, mm -hmm. vulnerability. How those, does that uh, work? Those are delivered. Yeah, those are delivered in a timely fashion. Yeah. Okay. So basically on Debian, you can enable so-called unattended upgrades or updates, um, which basically are security patches. Hmm. Awesome. And you don't even need to do the install the upgrade manually. It just happens. Okay. Do you use OBS for your videos? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you install it from um from a repo or do you use uh, a flat I'm pack? Not sure. I'm not sure to be honest because I haven't done it in a while. I would guess that it's the flat pack. Flat pack? Okay. I yeah, I would guess so. And uh, yeah, good that you mentioned that. For a few apps that you want them to uh, be self-contained and to uh, be at the new cutting edge, you just go with Flatpak. Okay, so you do use some flat packs here and there then? Uh, there is uh, OBS, there is the Signal desktop uh, client, I think, and maybe one more, maybe the Telegram client, I think, and that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Now... Would you mind sharing with us what the difference is? Because I get them confused all the time. What's the difference between open source and free software? Are they the same thing? Mm -hmm. Or And the reason you're here is because I want to thank the different YouTube members. You should be able to see their names listed here. The first CEO that joined Web23, web23.com. We have three executive producers and the other YouTube members. I also want to thank the people that have donated in Kofi. If you like my videos, remember that you can consider becoming a member. That is what helps keep the channel going. Remember that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That just tells YouTube that the video is um, interesting for other people.